one other person was hurt, uh, killed by the shooter, and at least two more were injured. So not great. Trump is alive. And um, incredibly, unbelievably, the bullet struck his ear. Uh, he gets quite animated at his rallies and he turned his head um, and the bullet just went through the top part of his ear, um, which is unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. I can't stop thinking about the movie Magnolia, where at the start of the movie, they present a bunch of really crazy coincidences. Um, for example, there's one guy who wants to commit suicide by jumping off a building and some window washers had left a safety net at the bottom of the building. So he would have survived his suicide attempt. But as he's falling down, uh, the side of the building, his mum shoots a gun out the window of their apartment. And as he's falling past that window, the bullet strikes him. Um, this seems like one of those moments millimeters away from being shot millimeters away and he survives and this changes the course of world history it's unbelievable but to be honest i have thought before i've anticipated that this would happen and i've even been surprised that someone didn't attempt it earlier because the political climate in america the temperature has just been rising and rising and uh quite honestly uh i have to say that in my mind, uh, the Democrats and the corporate media have a lot of responsibility for what has happened today. Um, they have been basically against Trump from the beginning, uh, characterizing him as m more recently as a threat to democracy, saying things like democracy is on the ballot. Um, so you better vote for us because if you uh, vote for the other guy, if we don't win, then it's not democracy, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, and yeah, the the media, uh, the corporate media, who basically control um, the mainstream narratives, uh, have basically been characterizing Trump as this crazy extremist for years at this point. And um, I think this is probably a pretty good point to acknowledge that most of us around the world have been pretty brainwashed by this, uh, including yours truly. For years, I thought that Trump was just this idiot. And I would tell people that. And um, uh, yeah, um, it, to actually look at the facts, though, to see what his presidency was like, what his policies are like, um, how basically pretty moderate they are, apart from immigration. Um, uh, it's quite a, yeah, quite a an eye-opener to actually take a sober look at that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, what we have is we have the world is an extremely complex place and um, politics is extremely complicated. And um, the media, the mainstream media, the corporate media, they have control. They have a huge amount of control over the way that people think about it because they present facts and they have this sheen of this official sheen this sheen of respectability, professionalism, um, and also journalism historically had this, uh, um, had very positive associations. Uh, right now, trust in mainstream media is plummeting, not just in America, in where I'm from in New Zealand as well. I even since COVID, um, levels of trust in mainstream media have, have, have really plummeted. Um, and then the fact that uh, you've got Joe Biden, who um, somehow half of, uh, at least until the debate that happened a month ago, half of America still believed that he was kind of in control of the government. I don't really think that anyone believes that anymore. Um, if uh, an American is voting for Joe Biden, they're basically voting for a, a bureaucracy to control the government. Um, I mean, take a... Uh, take a press conference by Joe Biden and compare it to one by George H.W. Bush 30 years ago, um, who he's George H.W. Bush, George Bush Sr. at a press conference. He's clearly in command of the facts. He's taking off the cuff questions from journalists. Um, he's clearly in control of, of the situation and um, uh, the situation of him being the president and being uh, the one who's making decisions. 
compare that to Joe Biden shuffling onto the stage, um, taking a list of uh, pre-prepared questions or at minimum um, from approved uh, journalists and reading off a teleprompter. Um, we're worlds apart from that now. Uh, so the concerns of a lot of people that um, America is now sort of run by a sort of shady bureaucracy, I think are very well founded. And they're so desperate to hold on to power that they're willing to do anything to um, sort of uh, smear Trump, who is the populist candidate, the popular candidate. Um, uh, he's leading in all of the polls right now, especially since the debate. Um, he is, uh, he's suddenly after he announces that he's going to run again for president, they bring several lawsuits against him. They charge him with, uh, one crime, which doesn't even make any sense. Like if, if anyone can actually look at that, what, what he was charged with a couple of months ago and make it make sense what, what the crime was, then, um, then I'll change my opinion on that. But I, I haven't heard anything that makes sense about that. What I understand is that the judge told the jury, you don't even have to agree on what the crime was, just if, as long as uh, you agree that uh, a crime was committed, we will convict him. Um, so, yeah, definitely I have to acknowledge that I have been brainwashed. Uh, I had been brainwashed into having a negative opinion of Trump. Um, and I think that it's important that we all acknowledge how susceptible we are to these mainstream media narratives um, in interpreting the complexity of the world around us. Um, we have a need, obviously, to make things. We need to scale down the complexity to understand it. And that's why we're so vulnerable to um, uh, these very professional uh, looking and sounding and historically trusted institutions um, news institutions coming forward and presenting uh, complex uh, facts in a apparently uh, or at least supposed to be um, neutral and even-handed way uh, yeah that's that's extremely dangerous um, just look at the way that they are reporting on <laughs> on this it tells you everything you need to know so CNN Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after he falls at rally. Uh, another one from CNN. Trump's speech interrupted by Secret Service. And then there's one that is even, I think, funnier. Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after popping noises heard at his Pennsylvania rally. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a, a funny one. I also saw more of a joke. Uh, JFK falls really, really hard at rally in Dallas. Um, this is dangerous. Like this is real. Um, uh, like trying giving the public a, a certain view of someone that's not uh, that's sort of amping up fears about a particular person in public, trying to destroy their reputation um, by associating them with Hitler, as was done just a week ago by this magazine, this political magazine, I think quite a mainstream political magazine in the US, The New Republic, with a picture of Trump as Hitler. Like, what do they think is going to happen when you're doing someone like doing something like this? Like what Hitler killed millions of innocent people. What, what are you supposed to do if someone is Hitler? You know, it becomes a moral imperative to do something. Um, so that that's why I say that uh, the um, the media and the Democrats have a lot of uh, literally blood on their hands uh, because someone is dead, and um, yeah, it's uh, well they don't literally blood, uh, Trump has blood on his face literally. Um, it, uh, this is crazy, and this photo is going to go down in history. Of, uh, of of Donald Trump right here. Um, he raises his hand, he gets shot and he raises his hand and he says, fight, fight, uh, after he is, after he's shot um, and he's taken, uh, he's taken off the stage um, by the Secret Service. It's, it, it's crazy. Like, I, I really can't believe that we're at this point. Um, this is not a healthy democracy um, and yeah, Joe Biden, trust, 
trust me, people over here know that uh, in Europe, people know that he's not in control um, uh, of his of the government, let alone of his own mind. So Americans, you really need to, uh, yeah, you need to get your act together. You need to stop this. This is real. These uh, this, th these things have real consequences. Um, needs to stop.